Everyone thinks they know who's winning the AI race. Everyone thinks the story is already written. NVIDIA at the top. Everyone else chasing. But what if I told you the most powerful move in artificial intelligence didn't come from a flashy AI startup, didn't come from OpenAI, didn't come from Google. It came quietly, strategically, from Apple. And almost nobody is talking about what this actually means. Because if Apple's latest chip does what it's designed to do, this isn't just another product launch. This is a turning point, a moment that could redefine who controls the future of AI. And yes, it could signal the beginning of the end of NVIDIA's uncontested dominance. For years, NVIDIA has been the backbone of artificial intelligence. Every major AI breakthrough you've heard about, ChatGPT, autonomous vehicles, generative art, robotics, runs on NVIDIA hardware somewhere behind the scenes. NVIDIA didn't just sell chips. They sold power. The kind of power that decides who gets to build the future and who doesn't. But here's the problem with being on top. You become predictable. You become dependent on others needing you. Apple never plays that game. Apple doesn't chase trends. Apple waits. Apple watches. And then Apple rewrites the rules. While the world was obsessing over GPUs, Apple was building something entirely different. Something most people misunderstood. They weren't trying to beat NVIDIA at NVIDIA's game. They were building a game NVIDIA can't easily play. Apple's new AI-focused silicon isn't just about raw performance. It's about control, efficiency, integration, and scale. This chip wasn't designed for data centers owned by third parties. It was designed for an ecosystem Apple owns from top to bottom. Hardware, software, operating system, frameworks, distribution. When Apple designs a chip, it's not just silicon. It's a strategy frozen into physics. And this new chip is optimized for something NVIDIA struggles with, running powerful AI locally. For years, AI has lived in the cloud. Massive servers, huge energy costs, constant data transfer, privacy risks. Apple's chip flips that model on its head. Imagine AI models running directly on your device. No internet required. No data sent to external servers. No latenki. Your phone, your laptop, your headset, all acting like a private AI supercomputer. That's not a small improvement. That's a philosophical shift. And here's where things get uncomfortable for NVIDIA. NVIDIA's dominance depends on centralized computing. Big servers, big buyers, big contracts. Apple is moving AI to the edge, to personal devices, to billions of users. If AI doesn't need massive NVIDIA-powered data centers to function at elite levels, what happens to NVIDIA's leverage? Apple's chip is built on a unified memory architecture. That might sound boring, but it's revolutionary. Traditional systems separate memory for the CPU, GPU, and neural processors. Apple merges them. That means AI models don't waste time copying data back and forth. Everything happens faster, more efficiently, with less power. This isn't about brute force. It's about elegance. And elegance scales better than brute force ever could. Apple doesn't need to sell this chip to the world. They only need to ship it inside devices people already buy. Hundreds of millions of iPhones every year. Tens of millions of Macs a rapidly growing ecosystem of spatial computing devices. Each one becomes an AI node. Each one runs Apple's models. Each one strengthens Apple's position. This is something NVIDIA cannot replicate. NVIDIA relies on developers choosing them. Apple doesn't ask for permission. They ship, and developers adapt. That's how Apple has always won. When Apple introduced the App Store, entire industries were born overnight. When Apple switched to its own silicon, competitors laughed. Until performance benchmarks came out. Until battery life doubled. Until Intel became irrelevant overnight. Now ask yourself this. If Apple could do that to Intel, what makes anyone think NVIDIA is immune? Apple's chip doesn't need to outperform NVIDIA in raw data center benchmarks to change everything. It just needs to be good enough. Good enough that developers start building AI-first apps for Apple devices. Good enough that users expect AI features to work offline. Good enough that privacy becomes a selling point, not an afterthought. 
Once expectations shift, the market follows. And once the market follows, infrastructure changes. Here's the part most analysts miss. Apple isn't trying to win today's AI race. They're positioning themselves to own tomorrow's AI platform. A platform where AI is invisible, embedded, personal, always on. And when AI becomes a feature, not a product, who wins? The company that controls the experience, not the company that sells the shovels. NVIDIA is still incredibly powerful, still incredibly important. But power built on dependency is fragile. Apple builds ecosystems, not dependencies. And ecosystems are much harder to dethrone. Think about what happens when Apple opens its AI framework to developers at scale. Millions of developers. Hundreds of millions of devices. One unified architecture. Innovation accelerates. And once developers invest their time, code, and creativity into Apple's AI stack, they don't leave easily. This is how platforms are born. Quietly. Inevitably. So no, NVIDIA doesn't disappear tomorrow. This isn't a collapse. It's something more dangerous. It's a slow shift. A gradual erosion of relevance in areas that matter most long term. Cloud AI will still exist. But personal AI is where the future lies. And Apple just made its move. The scary part? This chip is only the beginning. Apple iterates faster than almost anyone. Each generation improves dramatically. And unlike competitors, Apple doesn't need to convince customers to upgrade. They already do, year after year. If you zoom out far enough, the picture becomes clear. AI isn't just about intelligence. It's about ownership. And Apple is positioning itself to own the most valuable layer of all. The interface between humans and artificial intelligence. That's not something you can buy with GPUs alone. That's something you design into the experience. So the question isn't whether NVIDIA is still powerful. The question is whether power without control can survive in a world where Apple controls both. And that's why this moment matters. Because the AI era isn't ending. It's evolving. And Apple just reminded the world how revolutions actually happen. Quietly, relentlessly, and all at once. And here's what makes this even more unsettling for the rest of the tech world. Apple didn't announce this chip with fireworks. No dramatic claims. No bold promises about changing humanity. Because Apple doesn't need hype. Their silence is the signal. Every time Apple underplays something, it's usually because they already know what comes next. Remember when people said Apple Silicon would never compete with high-end chips? Remember when experts said ARM could never replace x86 for serious work? Those opinions aged badly. Because Apple understands something most companies don't. Performance isn't just about speed. It's about where that speed exists. Apple's AI chip puts intelligence closer to the human than ever before. No waiting. No loathing. No sending your thoughts to a server farmed thousands of miles away. The AI responds instantly because it lives with you. That changes how humans interact with machines. When intelligence feels immediate, it feels natural. When it feels natural, people trust it. And when people trust it, they rely on it. That's how technology becomes invisible. And invisible technology is the most powerful kind. NVIDIA's chips are incredible, but they live far away. In warehouses, behind firewalls, inside systems most people never see. Apple's chip lives in your pocket. That difference is everything. Because the future of AI isn't about who has the biggest model. It's about who owns the relationship. Apple has been building that relationship for decades. Your photos, your messages, your health data, your habits, your routines. Apple already understands users better than almost any AI company without needing to spy on them. Now, imagine pairing that trust with on-device intelligence, an AI that knows you but never exposes you. That's a selling point NVIDIA can't offer. That's a promise data centers can't make. And that's why regulators won't stop this. In fact, they might encourage it. Governments are increasingly uncomfortable with centralized AI power. Massive data collection. Opaque models. Foreign servers. Apple's approach decentralizes intelligence. It spreads it across devices. That's safer. That's cleaner. 
That's politically easier to defend, which means Apple doesn't just win with consumers. They win with policy. And while NVIDIA negotiates with governments, Apple ships products. There's another layer people are in. What are you talking about? Energy. AI is expensive. Environmentally expensive. Training massive models burns enormous amounts of electricity. Running them nonstop in data centers costs billions. Apple's chip is designed for efficiency. Not just to save battery life, but to reduce dependence on energy-hungry infrastructure. In a world where energy costs are rising and sustainability matters, efficiency becomes power. And Apple has mastered efficiency better than anyone. This means AI features that would be impossible or too expensive elsewhere become normal on Apple devices. Real-time translation. Advanced image generation. Context-aware assistance. Personalized automation. All without melting the planet. All without subscription fees. That's another uncomfortable truth. Apple doesn't need to monetize AI the way others do. They sell products. AI just makes those products more valuable. NVIDIA, on the other hand, needs demand to keep increasing. They need bigger models, bigger servers, bigger customers. Apple just needs people to keep upgrading their phones. And they will. Because once AI feels personal, people won't go back. Here's where the shift becomes irreversible. Developers. Developers go where users are. Users go where experiences feel better. If Apple's AI framework lets developers build smarter apps faster, with less infrastructure, guess where innovation concentrates? On Apple's platform. And when innovation concentrates, competitors fall behind quietly. Not with a crash. With irrelevance. NVIDIA won't notice this immediately. Revenue might still grow. Stock prices might still rise. But beneath the surface, the center of gravity shifts. From centralized intelligence. To personal intelligence. From cloud first. To device first. From rented power. To owned capability. That's the long game Apple is playing. And Apple always plays the long game. This isn't about beating NVIDIA this year. It's about shaping the next decade. A decade where AI isn't a tool you visit, but a presence that follows you everywhere. A decade where intelligence adapts to you, not the other way around. A decade where the company that owns the interface owns the future. Apple understands this better than anyone. That's why they didn't shout. They didn't need to. Because the loudest revolutions don't announce themselves. They simply arrive. And by the time everyone realizes what's happening, the game has already changed.